I gotta say though, as as much as I love characters who stick to their guns, I love those two. That little scene when he's like, "You're unbelievable." He's like, "What? Unbelievably smart." <laughs> Because in real life, that would be me right there. I'm like, yo, man, let's get the hell out of here. Let's tell this guy. <laughs> get out of here. Hey, yo, I'm going to call it like it is. That's right, baby. Oh, that shit, dude. What's up, everyone, and welcome to the Anime Isekai Podcast, week 9 of the spring 2020 season. On this show, we discuss the current season of anime airing every week. I'm your host, David, and joining me today, we have Stratton. Hello, everyone. Next up, we have Ku. What's up, fam? Next up, we have Brian. Hello! And finally, we have Sasha. Kudewa Nandu. All right. <laughs> So I'm um, just moving on to anime news real quick. Uh, so we did we do have a couple delays. So the I don't know like the, the Japanese full title or like the short form, but like the reincarnate as a slime show that was supposed to air in the fall that's delayed a season. So pretty much everything like the fall show and then the winter spinoff and the spring second season they're all delayed by one season. So that's just gonna be starting like delayed to winter. And then um, Damachi the season four no three season three. Was supposed to be airing this summer, and that's also delayed to October. Even though I don't think Stratton cares because he doesn't trust JC Dude. staff at all. After the second season, man, that was such a disappointment. When when the mobile game gives you more material than the actual freaking anime, you have an issue. You have a problem. Yeah, I agree with Stratton. <laughs> so, We're both king ranked. You can never reach hero. Hero. So Stratton's super excited for the delay show. And then um, also yeah. uh, uh, the PV for Attack on Titan Season 4 came out. Uh, just the big news is that like it's not being made by Wit Studios. It's being passed off to MAPPA, which did like a bunch of other shows. Like They're doing um, God of High School next season. They did... <laughs> Same. Um, there's like other shows. Oh, they did... I, know they, I know they did uh, Mushu Totora like, before. I forgot what other shows they did, but... So they're Ooh, handling the they, gambling one. I think I yeah, the gambling one too. Kake Guru Guri. I can never say it, but like, so Mappa is doing the last season for Attack on Titan or the finale. The finale, yeah. Just terrible. Did <laughs> Did you guys all watch the PV or no? I don't watch I PV, did. so. No. Oh, Brian, you watched it. Your thoughts? It's different. Mm. So that's, that's nice. always the concern, like when you pass <laughs> off between studios. So. Yeah, like yeah. what happened with IQ. Exactly. All I'm going to say is MAPPA, I think they're going in the wrong direction. Solid. <sighs> so. <laughs> Can you explain your show, please? Well, some people need a MAPPA <laughs> to know where they're going. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. so Tag and Sign Season 4, I'm going to wait till it comes out before like doing my judgment. Um, And so and uh, and since Wit Studio is not making it, I'm assuming they're just gonna work. Hopefully, they're working on Vidin Saga season two, because I don't know what else they're gonna do. So there's hope for that. And then the only other thing is that um, uh, Pokemon and Digimon they're both gonna be off hiatus. Uh, they'll be both off hiatus next week. So Pokemon. Yes, the best. Uh, the, the, the sword, and, the sword and shield never, anime. It will never die. Yeah. What? The, wait, I oh. heard that recently Ash got his like pro badge or whatever it's called. Is that what? true? Pro badge? Like well, 80 years you, mean he, he, you mean he won the tournament? He won yeah. a tournament final? Yeah. That was last season. Yeah, that was Sun and Moon. Uh, yeah. That was bad yeah. animation. Has Ash even hit puberty yet? Nope. No, never. He's still ten years old. I don't think he ever will. Wow. I feel like he, he has to take like special medicine that hurts his spine in order to stay that young. Like there's a really I, dark story to it. Yeah, I heard of these rumors. Yep. Yeah. It's told by Mew. That's why they never show um, the track marks right above his elbow. Wait, what? What? <laughs> Sorry, I you lost me. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so, so, yeah, so Digimon comes back next week. I'll probably start watching again, so, uh, so we'll probably see you in the podcast. David, you're just going to blow over Sasha's thing like that? I mean, what, yes. what about the tracks? No, no, we're good. No, no, no. Deny. Dude, fake news, man. <laughs> Jesus. All right. 
we're gonna move on to Tower of God. <laughs> so last week I was calling Sasha a hater because he kept hating on Ho. I have to take that all back now because I got oh, proven wrong this week. Oh, now oh. you want to take it back? Dude, okay, I got, dude. Nice, I got nice. shut up this week. So props to Sasha. Wait, why, man? Dude, wait, why, why? Ho was just being a little bitch. <laughs> Like oh, he, did, he like, was being a hoe with what he was being. Yeah. But now, bro, now he's that's why I have to take now every like, like all get off my wagon. All the things I told about Sasha being a hater, I have to get all back now. So he got vindicated this week. Thank you, thank you. I, I'm not the type to shove that in anybody's face, but you can just tell <laughs> that guy was absolutely despicable. And I mean, just look at his character, just the scum of the earth. So. Uh, okay. So like, I, 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 he, guys, he's already dead. Relax. It's like you guys, like, yeah. like just it's like how much, for me. I heard that the manga makes a, makes you hate him even more. Like the anime didn't even really like show it that much. They actually try to like, uh, make you feel sympathy for him at the end. But it sounded like there was almost none of that in the manga. It's basically Peter just like this that? guy's an absolute douche from the beginning. Um, him and Taylor. <laughs> yeah. So well, the thing is like. He went from a character that I was like not interested in, or like, or just like slightly disliked, to now it's just like, man, I'm glad you're dead because you just, I don't know, everything you just did was just bad. So, I told you, man, he he's a whole rebel person. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, but his death was kind of a, uh, it wasn't really that exciting. It was just well, kind like, of really. He didn't redeem himself, and then he just like he just like, and then he just ran away by committing suicide. So like. After, oh, after, yeah, after, after committing, like, the whole, like... like Because he, he fucked up, and then, like, he didn't, like, even try to atone for anything. He just, like, ran away and just committed suicide, so... You know, bitches do that sometimes, you know? <laughs> oh. he, was being a, he was being a whole bitch. Well, it's... I, I don't know. It was... The whole thing was just kind of, like... Because first, like, when it was happening, it was like, there's no way he's just going to die right here. It almost felt, like, way too early in the show, and then... Eh, straight up and you see and you compare that with, like, Endorsey, because they, they both have kind of the same message. For, like, in, they're both saying, like, you gotta... Uh, like be tough to climb the tower and sometimes you gotta like you know betray your teammates or like or like or stay strong whatever at least like in dorsey you like she has like you feel sympathy for her because like i don't i don't i don't know what it is exactly but like she has way more sympathy than than ho does like like i understand Uh, where dorsey's coming from like to be fair there i feel like they're both coming coming at you with the same point of view like same philosophies yeah. The the key difference though was the fact that Endorsey was actually strong and had the ability to change her <laughs> fate. However, Ho was pretty much powerless the whole time, so that's why he had a different fate. But I feel like they were trying to emphasize that you have to do whatever you can to survive, right? That's the the, the point of the game. And if you don't have the the luck or the ability to change your fate, then you're gonna die like Ho. So, what's well, crazy is like, wasn't he chosen to? Um, just because like he was able to actually um, build the like the the water stuff and like nobody else did and they just like annihilated the entire clan. No, I think uh, he just chose to climb the tower on his own free will. I don't and remember then, them like, saying anything about yeah about how he got chosen. Well, the only, well, the only reason why I just kind of like brought it up because they had like the little flashback where they showed him you know trying his, him trying to do his little bu- bubble ball or water ball mm-hmm. and then everybody else was just like amazed and. Everybody else, and then it just showed like the flash, uh, like everybody was just dead except him. Uh, I think yeah. you'd have to read the, the webtoon comic to know he's the type of guy who hides underneath dead bodies and pretends he's dead too. And then he's like, Oh, brother, are you okay? And then takes their clothes and runs away. So, I, <laughs> but everybody's gone. <laughs> yep, seems legit. Okay, I mean, it's not a bad tactic, don't get me wrong, but I want to go back to David's point about like, I think in Dorsey. She's probably one of my favorite characters because she has conviction and she's not a two faced, yeah. you know what? Yeah, that's, uh, that's what just, I'm trying. To, yeah, that's like she she's very blunt about who she is. She doesn't give a damn. She respects people, though. You can tell she likes people who have certain actions. So she's like, I made friends with Lizard Girl. Why? Because Lizard Girl is gunning for her own beliefs and she's standing for her own beliefs. I have respect for Bomb because Bomb is doing whatever he can, even if it means he's in danger's way to get back with Rachel, even though she doesn't want him there, right? Like so she likes people who follow um their 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 own path and who stick to it. So I, I really like her character, regardless of whatever happens. Um 
but just like I said, the conviction. The other guy I absolutely hated because he's just he's that like snivelly conniving rat. He's like the snitch from Recess. If you guys ever watched that show, <laughs> that yep. guy yeah. who be like, "Hey guys, what's going on?" and then secretly write their names on a piece of you know pen and paper <laughs> and turn it into the teachers and principal. So I just uh, you know I talked a lot about Ho, but you know now that he's dead, I'm just like, "Good, get out of here, you scrub." Was a was that guy's name Randall? Yes. I think it was, yeah. Good call. Okay. We have somebody in that in chat that knows it. Oh, nice. Thank, nice. thank you, random chat person. You're a good person. You mean Brian's friend? <laughs> hey, whoever hey, they are. Hey, you don't need to call them up, bro. Just, jeez. <laughs> okay, whatever. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> so, yeah. So, Sasha pretty much like said everything I wanted to say about Dorsey. So, there's that. So, um, the only other thing yeah, really... Guess... Oh, go ahead. I was going to say... uh. Big props to uh, his name Hatsu, the samurai guy. I think so. Yeah. 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 Big props to him because he was actually willing to stick with the plan. I gotta say though, as as much as I love characters who stick to their guns, I love those two. That little <laughs> scene when he's like, "You're unbelievable." He's like, "What? Unbelievably smart." <laughs> Because in real life, that would be me right there. I'm like, yo, man, let's get the hell out of here. Let's tell this guy. Get out of here. Hey, yo, I'm going to call it like it is. That's right, baby. Oh, that shit, dude. Uh, I'm the green guy for sure. I'm like, yeah, let's get out of here. Do you think uh, Do you think he killed them both, the, both of them? Or do you think he just knocked oh, yeah. them out? I feel like they're they're dead or, or knocked out severely. Probably knocked out. I don't know. Has anyone really died? I I, I don't know. He, the, oh. like the ranker. I, don't, I don't think the... The, the well, the whole is a whole different story, them. man. I don't know, because it seems like... Well, like, it's not, not... They're not afraid of showing people dying, but I don't know if he actually uses full strength on the people to kill yeah. them. Even though, like, they keep... They all keep saying, like, they have enough strength to kill me, so I don't know. Like, I guess I'll have to wait till next episode to see who lives. Well, it seems like... I mean, like, a lot of the... Like, the I guess, like, the, the little activities they're doing, it's more of, like, they're just trying to get everybody to work as a team. Cause it seems like the ranker was like, you know, like he was pissed off. Like when those two people just like ran away, didn't follow with the plan. And the guy was just left alone. It's basically, he just left the guy with the, uh, with the samurai sword and just basically took off after the other two and just destroyed them. It's well, no, I think it's more the fact that he, he hated them because of their character. Like the fact that they would betray their own teammate like that. Yeah. Well, that was my point. Yeah. Like, where, Cause it seems like he's, he's definitely like want like either like a really big on team based or team focused stuff. He hates people that just kind of like lie and betray. Yeah. Um. So I mean, it's it's really weird. It's like that they're trying to focus on the whole team thing when like it just seems like every every time every other time it's like a battle royale between the yeah. teams. So it's the structure yeah. really weird, for, like the tests and the exams. Well, it made me uh, curious too. If they introduced death so early to one of what I thought was going to be the main cast, is that, does that I guess Brian shouldn't answer because he might spoil it. But I'm assuming later on more more deaths of. Uh, like main characters or the supporting main cast is going to die off too. Okay, I was going to say, is, is Ho really considered like a main character? I would, I would say more a supporting kind of. But then they did give him some kind of background story, and they did and screen time. Yeah, yeah. So I, I mean, would imagine he's somewhat of an important supporting cast. I'm not really sure. That supporting cast is gone now. <laughs> right. <laughs> they they didn't take too long. I'm not going to lie. I thought he's going to be around more just because of his story. I thought they were going to do like. Oh, he's the weak guy who's insecure, but turns it around potentially. But I'm glad they did this because I'm like, yeah, you suck. You're a terrible you just get person. <laughs> yep. Yep. Just so, basically, just get rid of him, move on, and find somebody else to hate. Okay. I was very surprised by the actions. Like I said, I love unpredictability in a show. I don't even know if that's a word, but um, I, I thought this was the best episode probably since one of the first two episodes in terms of just interest, character development, and overall action. Right? Like it, it was just it was good. Like every bit of the episode was was pretty entertaining. And Dorsey got an upgrade too. She's still a sword. Oh yeah, ignition, oh, yeah. baby. Ignition. Yeah. I'm telling you, man, That's team and Dorsey like, right here. Hop on the yeah. bandwagon. Johan, where are you at? <laughs> I think we, Nick, weren't we where all for, for weren't we all for in Dorsey? I don't know. Was anybody uh, else for on the other any of the other teams? Uh I'm Team so Rachel, dude. There. Let's go. Team, team Rachel. Rachel. Fuck us. Nah, nah, Rachel, 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 Rachel. Rachel's like straight up Princess Peach. Can't do a damn thing. That's... Dude, like she's like the 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 Sakura of the group, right? Useless, useless. Ooh, being shot fired. Oh, I have a question for you guys. So you guys mm -hmm. know, like the big ass dude that was his rock chilling, right? Yeah, yeah. What do you think he his relational relation to Rachel is? 
Oh, yeah, that's a good call. Because uh, he felt the pain when she got stabbed, right? Some shit like that. I don't know. I kind of I, I, that, 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 that. That's what it looked like, at least. Yeah. Yep. Either that or he saw the stab, maybe, and then he just went shunpo somewhere else. Yeah, sure. the, the fact that he disappeared, I kind of assumed that maybe he was like a, a summon uh, yeah, that's what I was thinking from it too. Of Rachel, and then since she she died, she couldn't sustain his form anymore, and he just up and vanished. I don't think she died mm. though. I think just well, not not died, but she got like, injured. Injured, really. yeah. I just thought he 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 just like you know he just went like super you know shimpo speed, and then I thought he was just gonna go wait at like one of the entrances or something, or try to try to get to her. Yeah, I, I think... thought that too, but since they didn't show him later, after they showed the scene where she was being like carried oh, to that's true. Yeah. his office, uh, so I don't know. Hmm. I think he's the physical embodiment of her kidney. And so that's right. Where he got stabbed. <laughs> hence why he gone. He's like, oh. <laughs> that's probably her power. Like, she could take one of her body parts. And obviously, if, if it gets stabbed, that, that like, monster's gone forever. So that's that's a pretty cool power, though. I'm not going to lie. Okay. It's like she lost a life. Uh, hey, man. Gotta do what you gotta do. I'm just saying it's pretty weird that, like, how... Because earlier... Because it wasn't that much of a gap between when... She's trying to hide herself from from bomb, and then like she gets stabbed, and then, then of course like I mean he, I guess he, already, he figured it was always her, but then like she just straight up says like you know like like it's me Rachel, so it's really weird that it was a sh- really short gap. I thought I thought like they keep it hidden for longer, so that, that it's whole probably it's probably done a lot better in the manga, but I think due to pacing and everything, okay. I'm glad it happened honestly because I'm like I need something to like sink my teeth into and yeah. get excited about for the show because if they were just gonna stretch it out, that would have been the typical shonen play, right? We would have been like, "Yep, predictable," but more, this is the uh, shit. I well, just in general. I mean, all she did was just have like a hood over her head. I mean, it's yeah, just like, but that's like that's like as useful as like saying, Superman "Dude, shit. I'm not Superman." Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like in, in anime, they, like in shonen, especially they like they like to drag it out where they don't. Yeah, they don't like make the characters interact for a while. So yeah, I, I, I am also glad that they, it's like out of the window by now. I wonder if it was more just dragged out in the anime or uh, in the manga than. I they... guarantee you, they at least gave more insight into it. Oh yeah, I, I'm I'm sure they they did. Like any manga, it's typically that way. Yeah. Um, last thing. How did the episode too. end? Oh, what? Oh, go ahead, go ahead, David. Sorry. Oh, the episode ended with just um, it was like I mean, Ho and and Rachel get carried off in the stretchers, and then Ho's already dead, but Rachel's recovering in the hospital bed, or in her oh, room. Okay, she's, okay. she's she's resting in her room, and bombs right next to her. Um, the last thing I just yeah. want to mention too is that um, bomb basically like. He learned quickly about like the new technique from the ranker, where he can use his yeah that was crazy. Shinshu to like to stop stop someone or, or use their use their energy to stop them. So he learned that really fast. So dude, he feels like he's gonna be a beast. Yeah. <laughs> he's gonna be broken pretty like in no time. Uh, I don't know because so far it's it's only shown him being useful or somewhat strong when he's emotionally unstable. I, I have yet to see him like, do again shown in so. so. Well, yeah, that's yeah, that's true. Well, it didn't really. I don't know if it was just because from the animation, right? It didn't seem like he was too like, like he wasn't freaking out too much. I don't know if it's just uh, kind of like lost in the animation, or if he was just definitely freaking out when he used the ability, or uh, mm-hmm. or not. I don't know. What were you guys' thoughts on that? It's like your typical power play thing. Like picks up things fast. He's about to do this. Pulls it out at a random moment. Yeah. I don't know. Bon, he's he's I for me. I think uh, I'm gonna bring up two points, and then if you guys want to bring it back, you can. One, I thought Endorsey's backstory was pretty unique. Uh, I like the fact of how it was described. It wasn't a, like a long drawn out thing, and she had to fight for what she wanted, which is why I think she respects people who stand up for their rights. And then two, oh man, I'm blanking on two right now. Oh, who do you guys think wrote the letter? Oh, I didn't Coons. think about that. Yeah, yep. Coons. Coons. I, I agree with Coon. My man Coon, dude. That, that dude is like mastermind. Next He's level. a schemer. No, I'd, I'd say it's in Dorsey. Really? Yeah, just because... Why? She seemed to get everything under wraps, in a sense. And as, as we mentioned earlier, she'll do whatever she can to kind of get ahead. So I feel like maybe it was all part of her plan to just... Uh, kind of slow down or trim the amount of people climbing the tower. Hmm. All right. What about uh, David and Srenton? You got I, two for Coon, one I, for Endorsey. 
I kind of think it might be another character, but I, that's like that's a cop out answer because I don't I don't really know who it else would be because I, I don't really think it's <laughs> either. I might say Coon because I think Dorsey was more surprised at what happened when she showed up, so I don't think it's her. I figure it'd be more on Coon. My uh, my one guess would it be the guy in the suit bag. Um, oh, just, Laro like, or whatever. Yeah, just because he was part of the uh, team, like he would, yeah, like he would actually like know mo- like uh, kind of like most of like Ho. He could easily like kind of tell like this Ho was starting to lose it, and in a sense where he was just getting jealous because I think they they showed like a shot of uh, kind of like when Ho said something or did something, and then they they went back to the guy in the sleeping bag, uh, and I thought like I, I thought maybe he was the one that wrote, wrote the letter then. So that's my guess. <laughs> But I, I, the thing is, like, I don't even know why he would do it, though. Um, you it's don't a, know it, much it, about it, him, yeah. Yeah, so really the only... I mean, like, from what the anime has shown us, my guess would be Kuhn as well, for same reasons. But I'm going to go off and just say the sleeping bed guy. But I can't remember his name. I'm, like, much Laura, less... Laura, I like, think. Yeah. I'm, much, I'm paying attention, much less attention to you guys. I'm just, like, just watching right now, so... Oh, we're watching the show right now. Just dude, like I'm just dude. watching as it goes. I haven't really thought out much about the four or the plot as much as you so, guys. So, what what do you guys think of uh, Endorsey's panty substitution? Pretty legit. Oh, for her badge. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Told you, man. She's cool. We, we, you don't mess with that girl. You know what I'm saying? Like, she goes to Cuff Foods, doesn't have all the groceries. She go find a way to get them. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. Mm. I was actually this episode though. I actually liked the ranker a lot more than the previous episodes. I still um, hate him. Do you really? Yeah. I like him more. Um, I'd still take him on my team. He seems uh, he seems like he's pretty uh. You know who he reminds you of? I, I forgot his name. The guy from the Ginyu Force, the little orange guy. He's like yeah, yeah. Jace. Jace. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. He's Jace. Jace. Jace orange. That Jace was blue. No, blue was Burder. Yeah, 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 better. I remember better. <laughs> the best guy was the frog guy who was like, "Guys, I look hideous. I can stop talking." <laughs> They're like, "All right, <laughs> we'll, hold my we'll get you on our team." <laughs> oh man! If, if oh. only that guy was strong, that yep. would be a pretty, pretty broken ability. If only. <laughs> but yeah, good episode. I'm um, uh, I'm actually very curious to see the new episode on Wednesday, which I can't say I have been like itching to watch the next episode these past few weeks. So. Power of God, good on you. I think we only have what three episodes three left episodes, for I this think. season, and then we're done. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Uh, oh. Depressing. <laughs> oh no, four. There's four. thirteen episodes. 13? So okay, what do you think? Four. Do you think they're just gonna end the season with them finally climbing the tower? Like, are they still just doing the prerequisites to climb the tower? I don't know. I think this tournament ends. I don't know if that means climbing the tower necessarily. Keep talking about the posi- like passing the test for the positions. So. This seems like yeah. This is long. Like, are we done with the positions finally, or is there like another step to this? I don't even know. Well, like we only learned about the know. positions like halfway through the season, so. But it took yeah, a while but... to get to positions. But it's like, what's the point of like? And they they're going through these like things for the positions, but they really don't have anything to do with their positions. Like the only ones we saw that had anything to do with the positions was uh, was Rock, and the other guy. Everything else has just been like they've been just going through tests. Or is there something, or did I miss something? I don't know. Like that's that's also like that's why I keep talking about like one of my complaints is just the test feels so arbitrary. Yeah, I'm starting to agree with you more this week. <laughs> it's okay. On the last episode, they're all going to be summoned as Summoner's Rift, and then they're going <laughs> to fight for the right to climb the tower. Nice player rank game. <laughs> good pull. Good pull. And one of the items you can get is called Rachel's kidney. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Yeah, sounds good. Sounds good. I don't know if that's a good or a bad item, though. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. The next He's episode. Like a girl. He's Time will tell. Season two. Season two. All right. So I'm going to end it right there for Tower of God. Uh, we're going to next to Glapnir. Um, so I guess, like, this... I guess it was kind of an intense episode, too, because you saw the group. Um, they're trying to go forward to get to the spaceship to get the 100 coins and then they get caught by the second team and then they had um i forgot the guy's name the the the, the guy who transforms to the the, the, the power like the lawyer guy the lawyer guy yeah i forgot his name but he like he stepped up this, he stepped up this this episode uh they they built them up and then they just made them completely useless <laughs> which i was really confused about 
I don't I mean, know. I guess no. I think it's just showing. I think they show. Power with the yeah. Because he was able to take out that one guy and break his jaw easily. The creepy whatever he was. Like a centipede like guy. Scorpion centipede. Yeah. yeah. By the way, that centipede power way better than centipeder in my hero academia like, <laughs> that, that guy will murder centipeder <laughs> um yeah but i think it was more so to show but but can he that. but can he work powerpoint that's the question ah uh, i don't think his intelligence level he could man <laughs> he's like ah we got a creepy boss yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. he just wants to be touchy-feely he didn't care he didn't give a shit about powerpoint um, well he, he got his wish and then died or not, whatever nope, he's doing. He's alive. He's alive. He lost his job. But someone mentioned too about how, because uh, someone mentioned about the mark from one of the earlier episodes, and then they did bring that back up in this one, where, uh, yeah, the team that found the the one girl, like they did, like kill her, and then like, so, so this, I don't think this is the team that has the hundred coins though. They keep talking about how, yeah, someone already has like like the requirements, and I don't think I don't think it's this team. I think it's someone else. I thought it was Claire's sister's team, was it? Weren't no, the other ones? no, they're, they're, they're trying to find out how to stop the guy who does have the hundred yeah. coins. Over that's oh, why. Oh, that's okay. why they brought in um, Subaru because they think he's like strong enough to help them, like, keep, like defeat the other team that has the hundred coins. I mean, from the sounds of it, it looks like the guy who does have the hundred coins or whatever, he's at the ship, like he's chilling at the I ship, so, and that's yeah. where everyone's heading towards. But <clears throat> plot twist: but... it's that guy who chops off rats' tails. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, seems Abu legit. Well, seems legit. Okay. Yep. The one guy where Brian was like, guys, that was a flashback. We're like, no, Brian, what are you talking about? He's like, it was a flashback. Really? We're good at remembering things on the podcast. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we're we're great. It shows you our note taking skills. <laughs> it's it's very yeah. diligent work. But yeah, I, I thought it was a I thought it was a strong episode. Um that whole crew, I just I just hope they all die. Honestly, I, I can't stand any of them. Dude, the guy terrible. taking out, yeah. The, the guy. Talking... Go ahead. Sorry. I was just gonna say the guy taking out his tooth and be like, "I care for you, even though you're the scum of you." I'm like, man, get out of here. Just you need to die. <laughs> it's like at that point, why not just let him die? Yep. I mean, because like, it, it didn't seem like the guy was too strong. I think it would have been so much better if he was like, "Don't worry, my boy. I care for you." And you just see him press his fingers into his eyes to crush his. Jeez, <laughs> that's better. That's what I thought was gonna happen. Well, I, I honestly better. thought, yeah, I honestly yeah. thought that was gonna happen because that that always happens where like the you know like the 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 enemies never feel sympathy for any of them, and they're yep. just like where they, they show like they think that they're gonna care and then they just end up killing them right there. Like, like what the fuck was the point of pulling out that tooth and giving it to the guy? Like, I thought he was gonna like implant it into him or something to make him That's stronger. What I, I, we put all the tooth. I was like, oh shit, and make him like his slave or some shit. Make him OP. It's like, nah, here's my tooth, bro. Yeah, it's like what the fuck is that supposed to do, dude? This dude legit has no jaw. What is one tooth gonna do? Well, from what what he was saying, I thought it was just gonna heal him, or or like, or at least like the pain of it, like somehow gets transferred right. to him, like kind of like something like how he said. Hmm. Maybe he's a dentist, and this is his way of showing gratitude. I'm pulling out his own tooth. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Mm-hmm. maybe. Yeah. I'm trying to think of how I thought he's gonna be a shark at first, because you know how they they lose all their teeth or whatever, Get and then back, they grow yeah. them back. Yeah, but he turned into a giant gorilla and just punched things in the face. Yeah. By the way, I loved Tree Guy just getting like they're like, we built this barrier that should keep them out for a bit. Wow! I know, motherfucker, surprise! Yep. <laughs> Rip Tree Man. Yep. Yeah, he's like the one more than people that's actually really cool, but at the same time, he seems like one of the type that would die. He's like, he, he, he's, yeah, he's, he's, he's like the first guy. Yeah. Yep. Uh, never ending dragon ass man. That guy. Yeah, I just hope the telescope guy just. Just dies terrible death. He's just so annoying. That that type of character is just the worst. He's yeah. yeah. He's and he's yeah. He's in every anime, but he's like he never dies when you want him to. I, I like how they kind of like show where they kind of give him where it's like, oh, can you know, can you see like what's going on? It's like, oh yeah, and then all of a sudden, then you have Shuichi that basically just like smells it and it has like more, and it's even like more effective than him. And it's just like at this point, it's like, why are you here? Why are you even here? Just get out of here. Yep, he's Ho basically. He's the Ho of this series. Dude, I hate this guy more than Ho, I think. I don't know, man. Uh, this guy, he's just a creeper. Ho? Man, that guy was pathetic. <laughs> True. <laughs> but, okay, yeah. <laughs> um, the only thing... Oh, I, thought... uh, oh, I was going to say, the only thing that annoyed me was um, uh, the, the girl with like, the animal ears, like how she didn't say anything about how she knew 
or she, she, th she thinks that like Elena's group already knows about th there's another group of 100 coins he's not saying anything and it's like she uh, tried bro she tried she tried, she okay. tried. Right. Guess, she's just a timid little girl yeah dude, and it's, but it's that, like, that just means, she couldn't speak back up dude that just means death flag is triggered yeah exactly then, she, she's gonna be, then she's gonna basically just like say something on her dying breath that probably make like, no i wish i would have told you guys that. yeah because i mean do you guys think how many do you think of shuichi's like crew do you think any of them are gonna die and if so how many um uh, all quite but a bit uh right, what okay you guys which which ones oh sorry sorry go ahead no, I want to say all the whole group except for three is gonna die. I want to oh, say, God. I want to say Shuichi, Claire, and then the leader is gonna survive, and then everyone else is gonna die. What the hell? Jesus, dude, this um, dude is legit killing off the entire group. Well, he can't do anything. I was gonna be the, more optimistic. I was gonna say the leader, the animal girl's gonna die, tree man's gonna die, and invis girl's gonna die. That's about it, dude. Just from like the title for the next episode, just makes me think tree guy's dead. I forgot what it was, but I, th I kept thinking, like, mm, he's going to go, which is too bad because his, his ability, I think, is actually pretty cool. Dude, this man could end world hunger. Yeah, he could yeah, <laughs> end a lot of things. Those watermelons would be juicy. You know what I thought? But they're not cool. cool. He could play cool pranks, like shove seeds up people's asses when they're sleeping, <laughs> and then make <laughs> that shit grow. Uh, so that's kind of gay. Uh, I don't know, man. I mean, that's... <laughs> That's one way to uh, kill your enemies, I guess. Um, you wouldn't expect it. It would be. I would definitely do that. <laughs> oh, would you say, yeah. cool. "Hey, cool, you want to have a sleepover soon, man?" I don't know what's worth that or at man going up your ass and just expanding or something. Oh God, depends, man. This guy, he puts you know one of those uh, zucchinis up. <laughs> 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 all right i'll take that man it'll be instantaneous at least fucking uh, zucchini oh, I don't yeah know. i don't know man i think i'd rather choose uh if i had to choose a way to go out um i think i would choose that man <laughs> other yeah. way it sounds like it could go too many different ways you gonna die ways to... dude you're dying both ways but you know it's you know which one's uh which one's more comfortable which one's the honorful one man you know dude, neither no yeah <laughs> what would you have one Seppuku, man. <laughs> but I mean, well, what do you guys think then? I mean, like I said, it, it seems like their group is entirely useless. The only one that's capable of defending himself is the lawyer guy. But I feel he's like, not like he's, strong. yeah, yeah, he's not even that strong apparently. And then everyone else is completely useless. I feel like they're just gonna constantly throw themselves to save their leader because their leader is just apparently bait. Like she's constantly getting kidnapped and she's powerless herself. Not all constantly. And she, that was just the one. That was just the one time. Well, you're that first one. You're going to be the constant one. You're, you're, you're going to be the constant victim of this. Dang, okay. shots fired. I don't know. I'm waiting for Black Scyther to show up. I think he's going to cut some people up. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, like, this is, like, the time for Sanve to show up and save the day. Dude, it still does, just doesn't seem like Shuichi and uh, Clara are strong enough to really do anything. Um, I, I mean, then again, they, they both haven't been, like, on the verge of death, like uh, Shuichi and uh, Animal Girl. Yeah. Oh yeah, but the mm -hmm. end of the episode kind of hints at a potential, like you know how they said, like when you merge your souls in a dire situation, you become more powerful than you could imagine. I don't know, man. This could be like the time she pulls out a bazooka and just kills that a monkey. Bazooka. But it kind of feels like a little too fast, right after like the trans the first transformation. I don't know if they would do that. It feels like maybe it'd be like a last episode kind of thing. I don't know about now. I I'm actually like, going. I, they, to... I think they they, they, they they I feel like they would somehow like get away and then like somehow make it to the fallen the, the ship with the uh, 100 coins i'm actually gonna take uh ku's like a uh, pr prediction and actually one up i'm gonna say like they all die except uh Shuichi and claire uh mainly just wow. because like because everybody still has like that like that choke ring thing and i think that really the only way like i can see that because i don't think they're gonna obviously have it for the forever i think the only way to kind of get rid of it is basically for her to die and i think only reason the only way that she's gonna die I think it, it it would have to be when all the other ones are dead, because I, I think she'd probably be the last one to go out. Well, the ring, the choke ring, like Shuichi and Claire have that too. So yeah, oh yeah, but the, my point is like you know it goes away when she dies, and then they, they they don't have to worry about it again, or they don't have to worry about it anymore. I think that's really the only way that they're going to be able to actually kind of like tell them tell people about like their secret, even though I don't think really anybody cares, uh, or at least that we know of right now. So I'm gonna yeah, I'm actually gonna say with Coop or. Uh, Pretty close to clue and just say it. they're all gonna die. <laughs> Trent wants to go Game of Thrones on us. 
Well, first, like when Ku said, I was like, God ah, damn. And then I started thinking more about it. I was like, I can actually see that happening. I was like, you know what? They're all going to die. So we'll see. Yeah, like it, it's they're so useless. I don't know what they were thinking when they thought that they can go to the ship unharmed, to be honest. And they're so powerless. But they have a lawyer. Is he actually a lawyer? No, no, he's not. He's not. not. Hey, he just, 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 just dresses up in a suit and tie to look pretty for the chicks, dude. I just heard lawyer. I was like, we're going with it. He's yeah, it's just wears a suit. He's, he's nineteen, so dude, that mean he can't be a lawyer, David. God. Okay, you can be nineteen. I mean, lawyer. okay, they did give him a backstory saying how he beat the shit out of a kid in school. That is true. Yeah, what he a badass dude. lawyer potential. No, no, he was a badass, and it completely <laughs> made him look like a total. Uh, actually, I'm not gonna say it because I think he has potential. But he went from like a complete badass to uh, kind of a wimp in this. I was, yeah, I, I don't know if it was me, but I feel like his form was just so lackluster. I was just about to say that. I was like, his. I was expecting some more kind of like badass looking thing, and then it just. You just like, got a bunch this of dude, like, I don't know what it is with this show, but when you transform, you just lose your shirt. I'm, I'm like confused. <laughs> it's like, does it just go into the tattoo that's on your arm, dude? dude? But Shuichi has overalls. Yeah, bro, that doesn't... Uh, he has to transfer to a giant... Uh, hey, that's he Farmer yeah. Fran on it. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, to that point, though, like I, I kind of thought he was going to do something more like extreme. Like They were even hyping him up with Shuichi saying, oh, man, like before I thought that he was kind of powerless. But after seeing his ability, I can tell that he's a total beast. And then they just like transition to the guy, shirtless, with arrows popping up like from his waist going up. And and then that was it. He has like a red aura like glowing off of him, and and that's it. Nothing like crazy happening to him. So I felt like it was really lackluster. I think. Yeah, it's... I'm not gonna lie. I, I agree with that too. It looked like he was just like burning herpes off his body, and then he punches you. You're like, oh no. So I think I, uh, that's burning things. herpes, really. <laughs> Dude, who knows how many people you know? He's he's a he's a promiscuous guy. <laughs> I think it's one of your 19 year old with hair like oh. that. He's he's liking the ladies, so who knows? Uh, I think yeah, it's I like. How, of, I like how, go ahead, Brian. Go, go ahead, go go. I just go, want to say go. it's probably one of the things that probably looked better in the manga. Like they probably had better art in the manga, but and I doubt you can make that look much. I don't know, but it's for me. Like, he should have had just a bunch of tribal tattoos. Go ahead, Brian. True. <laughs> I just wish he got like you know a little bit more bulky, but that's just me. Am my dragon ball bulky as you? But anyways, six, six pack yeah. is enough for you, Brian. Uh, I I like that DBZ look, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but anyways, I just thought it was weird when this man walked up to that dead chick's head. It was like, yes, yeah, she was, she'd been my type. Like, really? <laughs> <laughs> yep, I agree. That caught me off guard too. I was like, uh, I'm not sure about this guy anymore. <laughs> I can I can <laughs> I completely forgot that they that they had like they showed that one scene. I don't know how many episodes ago. Oh yeah, I think I referenced that maybe an episode or two ago because we were talking about like who are they going to face next, and now the monkey guys here. So yeah, they they finally came back to that. Yeah. But yeah, that that was messed up. That's that's what I mentioned at the beginning. Hope we should guys jump in that earlier. But okay. Listen, Apparently, dude, I missed man. it. I, don't, I have no idea. I, 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 put said, your head I, in a plastic I bag, said <laughs> I give props to the person who met who referenced the monkey guy find the girl earlier, and no one said anything. So. Thanks for mentioning oh. it now. Sorry. Sorry. So thanks, Sasha, for I, uh... for referencing that we saw that earlier. Great. I'll back you up next week, man. I got you. Okay. Hey, d- d- yeah, d- d- there was some cats outside, David. <laughs> okay. I <laughs> 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 All right. Does anyone else have anything for this for this week's episode? Honestly, I don't think I do. <laughs> I no, nah, I'm good, fam. It, it, it felt like a lot. Happy this show. It felt like a lot happened and not much at the same time. So very weird. I mean, yeah. next episode is it's basically just going to be the fight. Uh, I don't, I'm not we, sure if it's going to last much longer than that. Yeah, but We shall see. Yep. Yeah. All right. So that's going to be ready. for for Gleipnir. Uh We're going next to Jaime Fura. Um, yes. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Like, try to remember what we're having this episode. Was this another filler, Stren? Um, I mean, basically, the only thing that was not filler was uh, the backstory with the maid. Which yeah. Uh, okay, wait, that's which at first. But- yeah, when they when they first showed it, when they're they, they where they're hinting they were actually gonna show her backstory, I was like, wait, I actually want to know her backstory. And then they're also just kind of cut it off and went to a different scene. I was like, wait, are they just gonna hang 
and just let us just kind of wait for it. But then they they filled us out later. But and uh, it felt like half filler because half of the things oh, yeah. was like, hey, here's why all the other people like you, Katarina, and yeah. It, and it was basically I, like a again, sleepover. again, like oh. again, like yeah, retelling this. It's like last week's episode went with the book, and then this week's episode with like with the maid retelling why everyone else likes the main character. Like we had like I yeah, think it, three or four episodes of t- the show telling us why everyone likes the main character. Yeah, it's it's getting annoying. It's it's the show is basically showing that everybody else knows this, but the but the MC, your favorite thing, David. <laughs> really my favorite thing. You're the one who watches harems. This is like oh no main... no. I, no, I was kidding, David. I oh, bet. okay. <laughs> I, I was basically because you pointed it out. I think it was last week. I, I honestly probably week, pointed yeah. out last week, the week before. Yeah, basically, after, it was basically I, I, MC I, syndrome. Yeah. Basically, after episode three or four, I kept pointing it out every week because it was starting to get yeah. annoying. And I'm glad that you finally reached. You finally reached the level where you got you two strand. Yep. It basically because it, it's just like it, it's like it wasn't. It was first just like the MC just wasn't aware, wasn't paying attention. But now it's other characters that are showing that they know. But she just doesn't know and doesn't see it, and uh, it's just it's getting to the point where it's just like, oh god! Like I keep saying, like when we had like the beach episode, I'm thinking, okay, the filler episode's out of the way, we're done. And then we had another filler episode. I was like, okay, this has got to be it, right? <laughs> and then then th- th- this one was basically almost all. This filler. one was a little bit better because it had a, the backstory, but with the maid, the well, maid like, it was yeah. still half filler because she was still telling, mm-hmm. like yeah. she's just still repeating herself. I'm. I'm trying to remember how the episode ended, though. Um, uh, did you see the after credit scene? Yes. Okay, yeah. So that's yes, basically. I don't where, remember what it was. Though. Um, so some random chick at school just like accused Katarina of like her evil, like you, okay. you did like all these evil deeds, and she's like, "What me? What?" And that's how it ended. And so I think that's because I think there's is there three? I think it's like three or four episodes left. So it's gonna be the last like whatever arc of the show is. It's just I believe three. Whatever yeah. drama like the. Stupid, stupid girl is causing. It's just gotta be like <laughs> solving that. Oh, but what if it's one of those where it's just like it's like the final arc, but it's only like one episode long, and then the last <laughs> two episodes are just fillers. More some fillers. Shit. That'd be yeah. so bad. But but do we think that this person who just kind of jumped out of nowhere? Do we think she's like the villain, or do you think it's just just some just pointless character? I don't know. I hope it's like something important. I hope it's not a pointless character. That's my hope. But. Like I was, I was thinking what could also be. Uh, I mean, I doubt it. That like, uh, it's what uh, it's. It is what I'm about to say. It's a uh, where she just she jumps in and says like, "Oh, all your evil deeds." But at the same time, you know, because she, she hasn't really done any evil deeds that we know of, or at least what we consider like her evil deeds. You know, like when she actually had the death legs. But it, it's uh, well, what if like the game kind of just progresses at specific points and just kind of like hit with certain characters and just tries to act out like as like that's what was happening. It could, yeah. Did it- Okay. Um, but I was, I, I, I mean, it, but I was I thinking, more, I was fun. thinking, I was thinking more simple, just like, oh, it's probably like the the other rich girls that keep getting mad that Katarina keeps like stopping them from bullying Maria, so mm. they're probably like mad at her now because oh yeah, just she's standing yeah, up for her. Cool. That's like my thinking. Yep. The only other thing I think of was like maybe, maybe like a small chance it's like the shadowy figure, but I still think the shadowy figure is like the president, the student council yeah, president. Same. So, same. Like yeah, that's like she's. I don't know. I don't know how they're gonna go about this. Like, like, yeah, it could be. It could be. I think it'd be more like your. It'd be simple. Like my thing. I think it'd be your thing. Where like, yeah, like the game just has to pick another villain to keep pressing the events. Even though, yeah, we don't really know how much I, how in, much influence this game has on on this world because like, yeah, yes, like, because one of the characters is has memories of her yeah. RL friend. Yeah. So, so who knows? That, that, like there's. They're probably not gonna explain that in the season either. They're not, so. I doubt it. Like, like there's elements that are so cool, and they just don't go any further about that's it. That's harems, and it's man. Like, God damn it. That's oh, harems. Honestly, and, that's harems and isekais, and it's, this is both. I, honestly, like this is actually more than I would get from harems. Like harems, I don't even take this like the really any of this, this story seriously. And this one, it's just like they show like really cool elements that you don't really see, and they kind of just stop it and just blue ball you. And then it's just like they they don't explain it any more than that after that. And it's just, just depressing. Yeah. So like, I don't even but, know how much of the show, like, there's, that could be cut, that it, or how much of the game, yeah, it's gonna matter because. Oh, yeah. Because Katarina, she still thinks she still thinks like everything's gonna happen like with the game, but like, so, many, so many things like didn't happen, or or that sh- the events like she basically took the place of what should have been like the the routes. So. 
Yeah, it's just oh god. It, um, uh, I, it also I, I don't think like whatever the arc that we have here now, I think it's basically just with like these evil girls, mean girls. Um, and I don't think it's going to be, any, we're, we're not going to get anything from the other arc with the, uh, I, I'm still assuming that the other, um, path or, or, or route route is with the, um, the president. And I just don't think we're going to get that at all in this season. If anything, they might hint it at the he end. could somehow be involved like this last arc. Like if they, if they actually cause big trouble and like she needs help, he could be the one that, that steps in and saves her. Yeah, I can actually see that because they're all into the president. <laughs> so so I can actually see I can see that being a thing as well where if, if he's trying to start something in motion or if you know of course they're just you know just bitches bitches being bitches <laughs> pretty much. You know. I mean high school. But, so. Yeah. So yeah, but, but this last episode was definitely better than like the previous episodes, but it still wasn't enough. It, it's still again I think there's too much greedy filler. I think going forward, I think we finally like are moving forward with the plot now that something is finally happening or i hope and we don't get a repeat of everyone saying why they're in love with the main character yeah God. it's just like that's, really, I, that's I like heard... the one thing we need literally because <laughs> i already thought like even before the maid i thought like okay we get everybody's kind of backstory as we know what's going on so the only things that could really happen is like maybe go more into depth about how the rl person has memories of you know or her memories or something like that and then they start going on the backstory about the maid. I was like, wait, I didn't even really think about the maid. But then when they actually brought it up, I was like, you know what? I'm okay. I would actually be able to, I, I'd, I'd like to know more kind of about her backstory. And then now it's just like, but then, but now it's just at this point where I'm just like, okay, just please move forward. <laughs> I, I, I can't, I can't take another person saying like, oh God, everybody's in love with, uh, with Katarina. It's like, we get it. Everybody yeah. knows this. Poor except Str- Katarina. Poor Stratton. He's at his breaking point. I know. God, I hate. It's just like because at first, like when, like when you first said, it, I was like, okay, it's one episode, it'll be fine. Second episode, it's like, okay, there can't be any more than this. And then like a third episode, it's just like, fuck it, whatever. I don't know what to expect. It's three episodes left, right? It's just, it's just a shame that like when, like, I mean, it's. I think the ending should be f- better, but it's just a shame like when anime is like they have to touch the lull middle. Like we gotta do better, like pacing and writing in this. Yeah, cool. This would have been one I was I would have recommended to you, but it's like again, it's fall where it had a start, it had a really strong start, and it's been kind of going down. Oh, you don't say. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it could have a strong. It could have a strong ending though, because I mean, it had be, a really weak mid. To so. be fair though, like like I would have never watched this show. Well, I wouldn't watch a show that we didn't have much to watch, and then like. I wouldn't have keep, kept watching it. The start wasn't so strong, so dude, I was gonna watch it anyway. But I wasn't, <laughs> so at least at least there's they got that. They got the strong start to hook me in. But man, to be fair, I felt like uh, Taylor kind of baited Seren into watching it with her, so maybe that's why. No, I actually didn't even know she was gonna watch it, but uh, it was on my list at the beginning. I mean, harms, you know, like you know, nice looking animation, you know. Well, I didn't. I don't know. It still surprised me because anything. like Seren never. <laughs> Had any interest in reverse harms? So I've only watched one before this, and that was uh, Kiss Him Not Me, and that one was fucking hilarious. <laughs> so, and this one has also been really funny, but still, Kiss Him Not Me has, is is I, I think like for a comedy is better than this one. That sounds like such a shoujo title. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, you know, when you have a character that basically like uh, that starves herself for weeks because her like her favorite character died in a manga, oh, you know it's I, gonna be. I saw that. I saw that clip too. <laughs> yep. It was, it was really good. Koo, did you ever watch it? Uh, I've seen clips, but I haven't really okay. watched it. I, I'm just not really big enough. There's really a lot of really funny, solid clips. Yeah. But anyway, that's all I got. Yeah, there's not much to it say. It can only go. It can okay. This time, I, I keep saying like it can only go up from here. Truly, this time it can only go up from here. I think it'll be better now because of that that uh, last ending scene finally set up like something that's about to happen. The final arc that we see in thank, the anime. Thank God. Yeah, that's the true final arc, but what okay, we're gonna get first this season. season. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm pretty. Sure, I think it'd be successful to get second season. So, because doesn't. I, I mean, I would watch it. It doesn't sound like it would. Um, I'm so big. It doesn't sound like it would it would take much to, like much of a budget for a second season. And I, I think it's successful enough on streaming. So, no, I think it'd be fine. Yeah, I, I think really a lot of the shows that are still airing this season are benefiting just because like people who nothing have else, the time and want yeah. to still watch to watch anime. Yeah. There's really nothing else to watch. So it's just like, what do you have to lose? You might as well just watch some other stuff this season. Yeah. 
So that's gonna be it for Hamefura. Um, we're gonna move on next to Kageyasama. Um, so this, so uh, I just wanna say the first part was like, like Ishigami, man, our boy. <laughs> when um when uh was it Chika was trying like like just get uh Eno to relax some more, and she's like Ishigami hasn't doesn't follow the rules. He's like, huh? And he just just like starts being a chat and puts his table puts his foot on his table. And then when he, when he brought out the switch and plugged in the TV, I was I was dying so 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 badly when that happened. Bro, like, damn, this guy's just a badass. But I think that's just how he usually is, right? You know, he, just, just he was doing this light. more to make a point, and it, just, it was just it was so much more funny when that happened. Like, uh, I just felt so bad when he was just trying to like he's he's always just trying to like bring like a good point, trying to be a nice guy, but they always just look at him like the wrong way. And then Chica comes in, says the exact same thing, and it's. It's like, oh man, I'll say that. How come like she gets the credit and I don't? But man, this guy never gets any like credit, dude. Feels bad. Feels bad, yeah. But we all we know he's the audience favorite, so at least there's that. Yeah, we're rooting true. for him. But God, I don't know. It's just the whole like the, the him like playing Mario Kart in the student council presence room. Yeah, that was awesome. Good man. Yeah, actually, today they brought. Uh, or not today. Uh, this episode, this week's episode, they brought up a lot of video game references, like, yeah, like Dark and, uh, Souls. Yeah, Dark Souls. I was like, oh man, that's actually pretty spot on too. I thought that was pretty cool. <laughs> what is this, gamers? Uh, no, unfortunately not. Not, unfo- right. not as many, but so so no season two. It, it's it's nice when like actual video games get referenced, not just visual novels. Yeah, what did they call this one too? Like instead of like Mario Kart, it was Marine called Kart. So it's it basically like, a, like Splatoon slash Mario Kart. It was like had octopus, like the octopus girls as the racers. Some indie oh, company. The, the, the Luigi character ripoff was actually pretty cool too with the green wizard. <laughs> 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 but I was, oh, that's pretty. I thought like I, I was kind of hoping that they would do like a, a short uh, cameo of all the Mario Kart characters and like try to see what different variations they can come up with. But yeah, the only ones I saw was like the green wizard and then that, that one squid. So. Uh, I was I was a little disappointed, but um, besides that, like I think the rest of the episode was just basically um, God, I'm try, actually I'm trying to remember. I just may, remember that first part because that first part made me laugh so much. The rest of it was just mainly. Um, oh yeah, so the second part was them getting stuck in the cliche gym oh, locker. The 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 the, 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 the word gym warehouse. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Yep, and then uh, the third part was when uh, after that incident, I oh. guess like Kaguya is more susceptible to uh, Shirogane's touch or whatever. So then she uh, she gets some lint removed from her hair from Shirogane, and then she gets like a like the a love, massive... love, love sickness. Yeah, you're right. Like so, she thought she was having a heart attack. She, she gets it checked out. Yeah, it turns out just love sickness. But I think the the best part of that the whole thing was the fact that her her secretary or her assistant her maid. was just. Embarrassed, yeah, I was just so embarrassed by like Kaguya's like actions that yeah. she's like, Please just stop. We gotta, <laughs> I can't do this anymore. Please, I, I go here. Please, I don't know you anymore. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I felt so bad for her at that point, like, because I mean, like, she always has to do like the stupid stuff that Kaguya tells her to, but this part, like, just hit her so much more, <laughs> bro. Like, I kind of feel like she's like, uh. She she deserves so much more credit. Like I feel so bad for her being Kaguya's uh, assistant. I'm... Oh man! Hey, that's what ha- that's what happens when you work for a rich family. Yeah, I suppose. But wasn't it like her family was uh, like a, like generations of butlers? I guess is, is that that's, what it was? That's what happens. Usually happens in anime. That's what they always do. It's like like the long line, the long family line, protecting like the mess, yeah. the the head branch. Like... Um, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Other than that, uh, like other than the video game cameos in the first episode and the last episode, like I, I didn't really. There wasn't really too much to. No, that it, felt, me laugh. it felt more lackluster than the previous episodes. I think the previous episodes were like had such high highs that like it was hard to top it. So right. Whereas like the only one here that stood out to me was just Ishigami, and then the, yeah, the video game episodes. Right. Yeah. Although. I, when I'm watching like the love sickness part two, it just kind of you make it makes you think back to like season one of Kaguya, where like you think of Kaguya, you, like they kept having this image of Kaguya as like this such as this cold hearted like person with a stoic face, and like this season two is just like she's so much like 
She has so much expressions. And, like, she goes through all these different emotions. So. Whereas, like, season one, it just, it felt like she was, like, always in, like, she was always had that, either a cold face or that smug face trying to, like, win over, trying to compete against the president. Where here, it's like, yeah, she's such, she's so much more, like, um, like, confused with her emotions, so. Like, yeah, they, they went from a more stoic approach to of the characters to everyone becoming more emotionally, uh, emotionally mature, I guess. I don't know about mature, but like just more, but just more development for characters, like. Or yeah, they they've developed to be more emotional instead of yeah. like stoic, uh, like very stern looking. Just very. Yeah, because season, season one is like it's more like the like the typical like one dimensional characters where like oh like they're, you know it's it's played for comedy like they act like this way because of the comedy. Where here is more like they actually feel like actual characters, you know, so. That's the one nice thing you know about season two. It's like you feel like these are actual characters. Uh, but I mean, that's pretty much all I had for it, though. Those are yeah. the most uh, Not talking much. about. Still probably like my favorite show this season. Still number one on Miami list. Friends' favorite site. Oh man, yeah, I don't know. Everybody, uh, everybody supports it, man. I know. I think like, I should. <laughs> I should watch this show. No, no. Everybody likes the show. I just don't do so. I'm not gonna say anything. Mm. Maybe I will. I will say if I can catch up to all my other shows. Okay. I will watch the show, but I, it, I will okay. miss the podcast. Okay. I apologize. Okay. I can always give my thoughts. Maybe. So that's gonna be it for Kaguya Sama. Uh, remember we went next to Sing Yesterday for me, Just, which is my number one show for this season. By the way, it's my number what? one underrated show. So, but Anime think, List does not agree with you, Koo. I think uh, Anime List is ass. That's good. <laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> This is definitely my number one underrated show, but I think like overall, so I would enjoy Kagasama. But um, this week's episode, like, if it, again, it feels like lackluster compared to the past two episodes. Just like so much happened before, and it felt like this week nothing really happened, and it, it ended kind of like with, like, with like a tease for next week's episode too. So it's hard to say what really about this week. I mean, yeah, it might be a little bit lackluster to what's been going on this past two episodes, but I I do enjoy the the uh, the development, like the rate that they're developing these characters, like they're slowly transitioning to uh, like the resolution of how they want their relationships to be. Um, like I mentioned earlier, Haru, I I didn't know if she was going to give up or not, but with that new like ending scene, it looks like she's going to continue to like work towards winning uh, Riku's heart. And then you got Riku and uh, Shinako slowly, like, becoming more involved with each other. And then Ro, I think he's starting to realize that, you know, I should stop doing this. I don't want to ruin the current relationship that we have as family friends. And I feel like he was starting to back off. But towards the end, it made it seem like he was trying to, uh, like, put some moves on Shinako still. And then that made her just, all, like, up and leave. So, <laughs> Ro, okay, so, yeah, Ro is still, like, the weakest character. But, um... I don't think, because Haru like didn't really. She, she was she um she was still like struggling to like. To like. Be, like not confront, but like just because like she was so embarrassed to like to keep waiting, but she because she didn't want to like go, to, to the the photo studio to see Rico because then like, because she was still afraid of like that, because what he said last week to her like you shouldn't see me anymore so. I don't know, like, it just, it felt like, it didn't really feel like she did much this week, besides, like, she's so, she's so, like, she's still pretty hurt about, like, the, the rejection last week, and I guess, I guess she's still, she's resolved to keep going, but it didn't seem like she, like, did much. Well, my interpretation of her this week was the fact that, uh, instead of just going to it blindly, she's taken a more uh, logical approach to it, right? Like, she, obviously, she thought about it, you know, she's torn up about what he said, but, you know, she's come to realize that she still does really love the guy and she wants to continue pursuing it. But instead of just constantly doing things that would annoy him and, like, make her feel worse about herself if she were to get stood up or get her feelings hurt again, she'll 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 give him time, but not, like, just, like, crazy amount of time that she's been in as before. So it kind of shows that she's kind of maturing in her approach of trying to get Rukuo's attention or, you know, his heart, I guess. Okay. Um, but just the fact that she was still going to his apartment to wait for him, but she didn't wait all night. She left after a certain period of time. 
like it shows that she's slowly starting to value herself more as a character uh while still trying to like approach Riku. So. okay because i thought she was just embarrassed to, like keep just keep waiting i don't know to keep to actually confront him if he actually came so i don't know i would say more frustrated frustrated just okay. because it's not yeah. going the way that she wants it to but she still does want the, the relationship to occur okay and then even with Shinako too, like it's showing some more mature development from her as well, right? When she realized that it was getting awkward because like his father wasn't there, it was just her and Ro. And then the fact that Ro made that that weird comment that, <laughs> hey, you know, why don't you loosen up that shirt, make it look a little sexy? She's like, nope, that's a no for me, dog. And then she just up and left. So basically, he just like shot himself in the foot and uh, caused her to leave. And I think that might have been the push to. Uh, to make it go more towards like Riku at this point, because now that she's at the party, like who knows what's going to happen for the rest of the night. So I, I still think it's weird that like at all the things that happen between like Shinako and Riku, just like how she still like shows up and brings them dinner, as like like they're still trying like this this whole friends thing was just it feels so weird like like no, but I think that's the point though. Like it's weird being friends with someone when you know that the other person is like romantically attracted to you or wants to be in a romantic relationship with you. And I think that's what the point of the story is. Is like you, you can't really be friends if you know that someone has ul- ulterior motives. You know? I guess. Yeah. It's just, I guess like if, if it was like, because like, the show is definitely tr- trying to lean them together. Like if it was just, wasn't that though, it would have been really weird. Like how she still just shows up after she just basically rejected him and then she feels bad. And then, like, I don't know, she still, they all just still treat like normal. It's just, it felt so weird to me. Yeah, I mean, it just goes back to the point that, you know, girls don't know what they want. Come on. They can't even pick what they want to eat for dinner, lunch, whatever, you know. You think they're going to be able to make big decisions like these? Uh, Probably not. And I probably, if we had a big female audience, they'd probably be mad at me. But (laughs) prove me wrong, girls. (laughs) One day. One day. But, yeah, so, and then, um. I don't do much. I don't. I know she's like they they tease her coming in to the Christmas party, but because like he's they're at the friend's house and it's with like the friend and his wife. Like I don't really think much is gonna happen just because like they're there. Like maybe they'll like leave them alone. Like make excuse. Hey, let's go to the convenience store real quick, buy some more beers or whatever. It will leave you two alone. But I don't. I don't. I can't really see much happening. Like I mean, maybe or sure maybe he, maybe he walks her home and then they finally get in. But like I don't know. Yeah, because they've they shown, like, at first, when uh, when his friend, I think, yeah, Fukuda, right? When he yeah. mentioned that they're going to have a small party, I thought there was going to be at least be some more, like, yeah. college alone nice. But it was just, like... It's, it's, like, it's, it's just literally Riku. Cool. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, dude, that's he's third wheeling super hard. Um, but with that being said, since there's only, like, three of them, and now that Shinako's there, there's there's more... It's it's a lot easier to set uh, him and uh, Shinako up for these, like, cliché... Uh, romantic encounters or situations. So, I mean, I, I can totally see it happening next episode. Or the, yeah. the fact that well, afterwards, I, he'll go home, and then he'll just like, she'll be like, oh, hey, why don't you come inside? And then he'll finally get to go inside. Yeah. I don't think they meant to, to plan it as, like, in the first place. They didn't, I don't think they meant to plan um, Riku and Shinako together, because like, cause, um, he did say, like, she couldn't make it that evening. So, I think they just, after that, it was a normal like, Christmas party, even though they show they have other college friends that they went drinking with, so it's really weird that it's just, just yeah, the guy and his wife, and then just Riku. Cool. Yeah, right. It's kind of a sad party, but this is why I don't host parties because no one would come. <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> feels bad, man. Hey, man, we would go. Pepe hands. No, it's too late. You, I don't want you to feel obligated. It's okay. <laughs> Dude, you have a new, you have a new place. You have a fireplace. It's perfect. Yeah, okay, show we'll people see. your badass sword art posters. <laughs> the one I got over there. <laughs> hey, man, it it can grow easily. Just look at this. <laughs> All right. Yeah, progress. And then I don't I don't remember. Oh yeah, actually no, because yeah, the ending was um with yeah, Shinako at the Christmas party. So yeah, so we'll have yep. to wait till next week, and we'll see like if they actually do like eighteen episodes. Just like I really wonder how this is gonna end. Like I, they seem to be pushing. Riku and Shinako, but I wouldn't be surprised if it actually did go the horror route, so we'll see. I mean, with so many episodes left, I want to say uh, maybe Shinako and Riku will hook up together, and then they'll go out for a few episodes, and then 
uh, Riku will finally realize his his emotions for Haru and that he can't leave her alone, and then he'll end up breaking up with Shinako, and then he'll end up. Being Dude, I still feel bad for Haru. Like she, she had to wait for that long for him to date and then break up. Like that's harsh. Hey man, that's anime, bro. That's that's, that's drama. Man, that's so like after getting rejected and like I don't know, like I mean, yeah, it's anime, but you still feel bad for characters. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, I just hope she's not the one chosen by the, the, the floating white truck, you know? <laughs> you mean the rushing, right? speeding white truck? I say floating because you know he's there, but you don't know what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> but it's there. It's a coming. Yeah. But I just want to say, too, like, like Haru just got, I guess besides, like, just Haru just got screwed over the most in the show. Besides, like, besides Shinako and, like, and, like, the dead, dead brother. But, like, I just feel like Haru just got screwed over the most. So if she has to wait for them to date, and like watch like then find out they're dating and then wait for a lot of time to get break up like that still feels really bad it true i i yeah i can see that too but i feel like as, as a person for you to truly grow you have to experience these these downtimes or it's these uh disappointing events to kind of grow as a person and kind of realize more of what you want and what you value yourself as so um when it's all said and done like maybe Rahalru will have the chance to be like the rebound girl for Ritual, but then she'll be like, you know what? I've, I've tried chasing after you all this time, and now you want me only after you're like. Oh, that'd be so badass if you do that, but they won't right. do that. And she'll pull the 180. I mean, she might. You, like, who knows? Okay. Usually, these establish, they always, like these, in shows, like they always have to have an, a pairing to have a, a as a climax or a resolution. So if they actually pull it off, I'd be so surprised. I give it props for being brave enough to do that. Yeah, I mean, but like I said, it's just all speculation. Like, I feel like she is going as a person, so, like, I think it's a possibility for sure. So, I think that's going to be it for for, for the, this uh, thing yesterday for me, so that's going to be it for this week's episode. Wait, uh, David, before the end, though, man, what happened to your bed? I didn't realize uh, until, like, I messaged in chat. I was like, wait, there's something different about David's, like, I back. Moved, like, yeah, I moved my computer, or my computer desk 90 degrees so I can fit enough space for the two monitors did you have more do you know what other space you have now you have wall space sir <laughs> yeah, you, you, like this. yeah you can start filling up like cool so this is the this is the beginning man we'll the see. next then we the next after this we'll get brian and then you know, we'll get him a webcam and then he can start you know basically decking out his stuff too start coming on his shell shirtless hey, Hell yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. you know seeing that, yeah. Summer, yeah. Seeing that summer season whatever, too so whatever brings in the views <laughs> Dude, Brian and Sasha has no excuse. They got a twelve hundred dollar stimulus check. You could easily afford a fifty dollar webcam, all right? Yeah, mine went to my credit check, by the way. Wait, why? Anyway, we'll talk about mother, dude. Okay, we'll talk more about it. We'll talk more about it after after uh, after the podcast. Oh yeah, I want to thank I want to thank the listeners for tuning in this week. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys and girls. Thanks for being active in chat too. Always appreciate it. Arigato. I want to thank the Let panel for joining me yeah. this week. Thanks, guys. Enjoy no all the conversations. A little bit more for chat. You know, just let us know if we're doing something good, doing something bad. Let us know if you hate one of us. We'll uh, please we'll think about removing him. Please I will give understand. Us back. Please, yeah. that's all I ask. Just please. Yeah. Yep. All right, and that's gonna be it for this week's show. So we're head out. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.